Hey guys, welcome to Snack and React. I'm Stephanie. And I'm Devin. And we are back with another reaction. We are doing Daniel Tosh. I have no idea who this guy is. You don't? You never I, heard I, of him? I, I've never heard of him. So I have heard of him and I've watched a lot of it. He used to have a show called um, Tosh.0. Okay. And it was really good. So, okay. Um, had a lot of different things on it, but okay. I, I don't think I've ever seen his like straight up like stand up comedy. So, so was he uh, doing stand up before he had Tosh? What was it? Three point. Yeah, Tosh point oh. I think okay. that he did. Um, okay. okay. Yeah, I think he's been a comedian for a while. So this one is: How do ninety percent of Americans have jobs? Oh, okay. <laughs> so I assume he's not American. Is he American? I is don't he know. I think he's American. Yeah. Oh, I just figured, <laughs> made a statement like that. My assumption is that you're not American, but you could be. You just know that I guess some Americans fucking lazy. I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll guess see we gonna see. Say, do us a favor, man, and smash that thumbs up, like, share, and comment. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Do not forget that. Don't forget that bell. That damn bell. So snack and react, and of course we gotta have our snacks. I have a uh, open bag of Funyuns, which I have been snacking on. Since it's a snack and react. <laughs> they are good. What you got, babe? I have some taco seasoned crackers. Taco seasoned crackers. Okay, cool. So anyway, hope you guys are excited because so are we. You ready, babe? I'm ready. Let's get to it. It is great to be here in America. <laughs> yeah. The greatest country in the world. If you haven't traveled a lot. <laughs> Do we have to constantly scream we're number one? It's always the people that live in the most boring parts of this country that scream the loudest. People in Kansas, we're the greatest country in the world. It's like, do you guys have internet there? You ever seen a photo of Fiji? I've never been to Fiji, but I've seen photos. It looks pretty amazing. It's hard to think we're better than that. We're top 10. Maybe if we started screaming that every day, maybe terrorists would stop trying to saw our heads off. <laughs> We're top 10. And they'd be like, that's fair. <laughs> it was that number one stuff that was getting old. <laughs> America's basically turned into one of these factories where we just have a sign up. Like, it's been 22 days since our last horrible thing. And it's like, oh. All right, rip it down. We're back at zero again. <laughs> These things just keep happening. You know, whether it's Ferguson or Baltimore. I can solve racist cops. That's an easy fix. But nobody comes to me for the answers. <laughs> you want to get rid of that forever? How about this? Only black people should be allowed to be cops. Boom, problem solved. <laughs> and if any of you have issue with this, it's because you're racist. <laughs> Well, what about white people? White people can be firefighters. We're more outdoorsy, it makes sense. <laughs> white people, firefighters, black people, cops. Who wants tickets to the softball game now? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna get pretty tense. Might wanna put in a mercy rule. <laughs> and the next time we have one of these tragedies, inevitably we will, and you happen to be so unfortunate enough to know the person that's being accused of the crime, do us all a favor and don't get on TV the next day and be like, I lived next to him for 32 years. I never could have seen this coming. Maybe you should be locked up for six months. I find nothing more disrespectful. You never could have seen it coming. I've never met anyone in my entire life that I couldn't wrap my brain around the fact that they are capable of awful things. Literally no one. My mom could blow up a nursery. <laughs> and if you put me on TV the next day and I was completely honest with myself, I'd be like, I can fucking see it. <laughs> no, it makes sense. Sometimes when I was a kid, I'd come home from school, she wasn't happy to see me. I think she hates children. <laughs> Ladies, know that every man you're sitting next to tonight, if you could get into their head and see every thought they have ever had, you would immediately pull out a gun and blow your head off. <laughs> Because trust me, they're capable of anything. All day long, every day, nothing but twisted, weird, awful shit is just going round and round and round. And what do you do at night? You snuggle up next to them because you're so happy that you're not alone. 
And I think that says more about you. <laughs> that notion that your parents raised you on, stand by your man, if you're insane. <laughs> the second your man gets accused of anything, you immediately distance yourself. <laughs> Just be like, I don't know what the fuck he's into. <laughs> and buy clothes in the next town, we'll forgive you. <laughs> by the way, I do love this country. We're the only place with any diversity. The entire planet's segregated. You realize that when you watch international sports. Like I was trying to watch the World Cup, uh, despite hating it. <laughs> I get it, soccer's the most popular sport on the planet. That's because half the world can't afford AC. <laughs> and that's about how long you have to run just to get tired enough to fall asleep in these godforsaken <laughs> countries. You ever try to gamble on soccer? What's the over-under, 0.5? Mm. <laughs> How much time's left? It's a secret. I'm out. <laughs> but we have diversity. Other teams don't. Or if you look at the Olympics, you look at our uh, U.S. gymnastics squad. We have an Asian girl, a white girl, a black girl. Look at the Chinese squad. <laughs> Any guesses? <laughs> Did you guess exclusively Chinese bitches? <laughs> yeah, that's all that's ever been on that team. That's all that will ever be on that team. And they wonder why they're not getting golds anymore. Well, you better get a Harlem in China. <laughs> you think snapping together iPads all day is tough? <laughs> it is not as tough as it used to be. Now they have suicide nets around their building so they can jump out, bounce right back. Sorry, boss, just need some fresh air. <laughs> back to making Americans more stuff? You got it. This is a tough joke to do as a white comedian, but here goes. <laughs> because where this country is now from where we came from is pretty remarkable. There's nothing more shameful in our country's past than slavery. Okay, that's horrible. But I've grown up in a generation where I've idolized black people my entire life. They are better at everything. <laughs> so the fact that we pulled off slavery, <laughs> I've already said it's awful. <laughs> That's off the table. I'm just saying it's kind of neat. I mean, at any point they could have been like, you know we can just run away, right? And you will never catch us. And if you do, we will beat the living shit out of you. All right. That's about how well that joke should go over. There's a fine line between appreciating the sarcasm and ooh, this feels like a rally. And you did well. That's a joke I do not do everywhere. That's a joke if the audience gets a little too excited, I shut it down. You start hearing a couple yee-haws, troubles are brewing. Soon as yee-haw hits a certain octave, hate crime in T minus 10, nine. The unemployment rate in our country is around six and a half percent. I'm told that's pretty good. I could care less. I wish a president would have the balls to say what I'm about to. 10% of Americans don't deserve jobs. Good night. <laughs> like, that's a number I can get my head around. Of course, there's exceptions to that. That's not who we're talking about. But if you don't think 10% of Americans are lazy pieces of shit, then you have never traveled anywhere. <laughs> because the number that blows me away is that over 90% of Americans have jobs. Who the fuck is hiring you morons? <laughs> because I wouldn't. The sense of entitlement, everyone thinks they deserve more than they have. No one's content. Young kids, I won't even talk to them anymore because you parents have done such a bang up job. If I meet one more kid and ask him what he wants to do when he gets older and he replies, I'll be famous like you, I'm gonna kick him in his teeth. You're never gonna be famous, never. You have no chance. I didn't get here because I work hard. I have a gift from God. <laughs> Everybody gets their 15 minutes of fame, buddy. Excuse me? That's an average. Yeah, that's zero for you, 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 you. Zero, 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 zero. 20 years, zero, zero, <laughs> zero, zero, zero. Everybody gets 15 minutes. You know Andy Warhol was on drugs when he said that, right? 
He didn't think he'd be quoted for the rest of eternity, let alone taken seriously as an artist. <laughs> you ever go into like a cute local cafe and an artist has their work for sale on the walls? Has anybody ever not walked up, looked at the price and gone, who the fuck do they think they are? <laughs> Just once, I'd like to walk into somebody's home and be like, wow, that is a beautiful piece. Where did you get it? And they're like, oh, funny story. I was getting a spinach wrap the other day for lunch, and I had $750 burning a hole in my pocket. And I was like, hey, guys, unbolt this from your urinal and get it into my living room. You know what the unemployment rate in China is? Neither do I, because I'm American and fucking stupid. It's got to be low, right? Those people get up at three in the morning to practice the violin for four and a half hours. Then they work on math for 12 hours and whatever's left, they're ninjas. <laughs> if you think for one second we will ever catch up with them, you are out of your mind. Just sit at home and be patient until they take over. And quite frankly, they deserve our country. I go, oh, shit, China's here. Do we take off our shoes? How does this work? What do you think? Like I said before, well, America, I, America's been lazy. I do agree, kind of, because I feel like now, it's, it's, we're, we're living at a time where people don't want to work hard. Yeah. I mean, but I get it, though, I mean, because, like, you, you have the internet and you have social media, so you ain't got to work nearly as hard as you had to work back in the day. Well, no, and it's really hard right now, like, after everything with COVID and people yeah. not wanting to work and people, yeah. I mean, everywhere we go, like, restaurants and, and places... Like, people aren't working, so yeah, they're short-staffed, yeah, yeah. and yeah. everyone's having a hard time getting people to work. Yeah. I do get the uh, the thing when you said about self-entitlement, because I feel like a lot of people feel self-entitled. Mm -hmm. Without having to work hard, I put any overtime hours or nothing. Yeah, that's they like, want to be the boss without yes, doing the work. without putting out yeah. any work. And I don't like that. So, you know, I, I like to stand up. To me, when it was a stand-up, I felt some truth. Yeah. I felt some truth in here. Yeah, I think we, we always find some, like... Like, even if it's just, like, a little sliver of We do. Truth, we do. I we thought do. this one was good. I yeah, like it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I enjoyed it. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed our reaction. Man, give us a thumbs up, like, share, and comment. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Peace out.